My flight back to Amsterdam has a transit in Doha, where I just landed. It was uh, the most convenient option that I had for today. And I was like, sure, why not exploring Doha for a day? And then I checked, I realized it's actually Ramadan now for them. And there are some rules as well for me that I have to uh, take into account while visiting. So let's see how is that is gonna work. I'm going now to check what I need to go out of the airport. The transit visa for Doha is available for any passengers regarding of their nationality and is free of charge if your stay is between 5 and 96 hours. It's very easy to get it from the airport. The moment you go out of the airport, there is like a security check. They will take pictures of you and also fingerprints and then they just put a stamp on your passport and that's it. I'm going to reach the hotel by metro, so I just got a day pass. Also make sure that your shoulders and your knees are covered and your clothes are not transparent. I just want to feel my reaction the moment I go out of the metro. I guess I go this way. Wow. wow. when you go to a new country check what type of sockets they have because here in Qatar I need an adapter and I didn't know that because I didn't check but luckily I have my power bank with me so till tomorrow I'm fine During Ramadan, Muslim people don't eat between sunrise and sunset. If you are there as a tourist who doesn't follow Ramadan, you are not required to fast, but show some respect to their culture and be mindful about eating and drinking in public spaces. If you can avoid it, please do so. Cafes and restaurants are mostly closed during that time, uh, you can still grab food from the supermarkets or you can find it at your own hotel. But try to keep that in mind when you go to see their country during Ramadan. I am truly, truly impressed by what these people built in desert, you know? 
I don't know how they did it. It is so quiet. It seems abandoned. Like there's no one on the streets, barely any cars on this road.